Good afternoon, everyone. I should say good evening, because it's almost evening. And as they said, this is an interactive session and has to be interactive because the level of energy is going down, so I need you with me doing this session. It is all about, so first, scan the QR code and be ready for some questions. The session is all about digital transformation and how successfully we can embrace the next wave of digital transformation. But everything starts with an important decision that we need to take because it's up to us how we want to embrace the next wave of digital transformation. This is, the decision is very easy. We need to decide fundamentally if we want to continue our business and try to optimize it with the support of the technology or if we want to thrive. And thrive, sorry about that, thrive is all about evolving, innovating, and how we can get to the next level of growth. Now, I really ask you, please, to look at the, use your mobile phone and ideally share your answer. I want to hear from you. What do you think about it? What do you want to do? Do you want to survive or thrive? In the meanwhile, you share your answer. Let me tell you what happened to me. Let me tell you my story. So first, I'm Adele Trombetta, and I'm the leader for uh, customer experience in Cisco at EMER level. Three years ago, I had the opportunity to come here in this region. It was a dream coming true. Why? Because I was dreaming to come in the region of innovation, the region where everything is possible, the region where, and with that I'm really proud of that, the region where the relationship is fundamental. And this is very close to my culture. I'm Italian, and the relationship, even in the business, is something very important for us. Coming here, I was starting building my relationship, my business, and the business was growing. Then suddenly, someone switched off the light. COVID came, and everything changed. At that time, I had just one aspiration. I wanted to survive. I wanted my team to survive, my customers to survive, the business to survive. But then, things start changing. And then I realized that there were a lot of opportunities with the pandemic. I know that this can sound strange, but that's the reality. Technology could help us to get these opportunities. Technology could help us in making our life better. Think about the healthcare. The, think about the education the hospitality, think about the way we work. Everything is changed, but we can say, and we should say, for the better. So if you ask me now the same question, the answer is, I want to thrive. But now let's see the, your, your answer. Very good. I'm very happy that this audience wants to thrive. 83% is a quite a good percentage, but I respect even the 17%. Why? Because that means that you are in a phase of your business where you want just to optimize what you have. But I hope that at the end of this session, the 18% of people, they have changed their mind and they want to thrive with me as well. Now, let me give you another statistic, hopefully. Okay. During the COVID, you know, a lot of things changed. But among the others, there were one activities that was really exponentially adopted. So you can read that there was 1.3 billion activity a month in one country. And this is expected to be 1 trillion by the end of the year. Now the question is, and you have to answer, what this activity is. So, let's see if we have any answer. Video call is not uh, a surprise. Of course, we had a lot of video calls. Anything else? 
Zoom, of course, digital media, collaboration, bank, Netflix as well, you're right. We had a lot, we spent a lot of time with Netflix, fair enough. Let me see if there is the right answer. I can tell you it's not in the main one. Uh, I don't see the answer, but I can give you the answer. So if we go back to the slide, the answer is it was all about the contactless, the payment, the contactless payment. And I can tell you, I was one of the person that used a lot of the credit card, the contactless. And why? And by the way, it's interesting, even this statistic, the Saudi central bank say, says that you have already, 94% of you have already adopted the contactless payment. And the reason is extremely simple. The reason is, is with the contactless payment, we can have much more safe transaction, safe for ourselves, same for the others. We can reduce as less as possible the touch. We can reduce the queue. And this is exactly what the end user were expecting during the pandemic. But what is interesting is that behind this simple transaction, there is a lot of complexity. And this is where the beauty of the technology comes. Why? Because the technology embraces the complexity and translates that in a simple, seamless user experience. But we need to have that in mind. Users get very soon used with everything we offer them. So if the banking in the past was using the contactless and that was an imp important uh, digital transformation, now this is not enough anymore. They are start asking us for much more complex um, services. They start talking about cryptocurrency. They start talking about, you see on, on the screen, the possibility to have a passwordless system of authentication and more biometrics and more to come. Now, with that, what I want to tell you, what is the message that I want to give you? The message is technology is the enabler for the success of the company. The technology is the enabler for us to offer relevant and user experiences. And even the company that do not have technology as their main business, core business, they should act somehow as a technology company. But this is not enough. Why? Because if you look at these statistics, that is quite interesting, since 2000, more than 50% of the 500 Fortune company are not there anymore. Why? Because they were relevant in the 2000s, but they are not relevant anymore for the end users. What does it mean? It means that we need to keep evolving and transforming our offers. And in order for us to do that, yes, the technology is an enabler, but it's not enough. With that, I want to tell you the story of our company, in particular, the story of my organization. First, I want to tell you that the transformation is an innovation is something that is very much close to my art. I do all my career, based all of my career on innovation. I love innovation. And Cisco does as well, of course. Cisco is well known as a technology leader. And in particular, as, is well known as infrastructure technology leader. And services were a natural part, are a natural part of our offers. Why? Because when we deliver product, we need to install, configure, optimize, and manage for you. However, a few years back, we realized that the market was shifting. There was an important shift in the market, and the users were not interested anymore only in technology. Market was shifting from technology centricity to experience centricity. And for this reason, we decided to move our organization from being a service organization to a customer experience organization. That means 
That was a kind of revolution. That was really, for us, a paradigm shift in terms of how to approach the market. We were not anymore going and talking with our customers about the technology. We started changing and shifting our conversation, starting from what the business needs of our customers, what really matters for them, which are the use case, what is the customer agenda. And only after we link the technology to these business needs. If you think about that, in order for us really to succeed in this transformation, we had to first look into our team. We had an amazing team of talent, of technology talent, very much specialized, the best on the market, but we were asking them to start talking a different language, the business language. And this is different. So we had to first prepare our team. We need to make them more agile. Why? Because the market the, was the dynamic, and the market was asking constantly different things. We had to even to look at our portfolio. Our portfolio had and has to start from these solutions, not anymore from the technology. Has to offer the full visibility of the infrastructure, has to offer the security, has to offer the intelligent uh, connectivity, has to offer the insight that is what really will help our customer in being predictive. That is what really matters for them in order to anticipate and ideally avoid the issues and keep improving their business. But what really amazed me is that when we start talking with our uh, customers and when we start talking about business with our customers, we realize that top of their mind, top of their agenda was the planet, was the way we could really support and help and have a responsible use of our resources. And that was exactly aligned with our culture and value as well. And that was a fundamental part of our philosophy. Now, I'm saying all of that to say, OK, what is that linked with the, your speech? Why with the digital transformation? This is because if we really want to thrive the next wave of digital transformation, we need to be ready to evolve and transform constantly. But in order to do that, we should not only focus on technology. Whoever we are, whatever is our company, we need to take into consideration more than one element. This is what we called, in a simple way, the P cube. There are three P, that is people, platform, and planet. Why cube? Because if we combine all of them, we can really amplify the value and have a much more inclusive and better future. Now, people. People is all about uh, performing people. We need to have people with the right mindset, people that are hungry for the excellent, people that really want to keep improving, people with the right skills, people that have the right culture, and we need to create for them the right culture. With that, I mean, we need to allow them to fail, but fail fast, because if they do that, that's the perfect route to the thrive, to thrive, because if we fail, means that we are evolving, and if we fail fast, means that we learn from that, and next time will be much better. But even platform is an important element. Now, platform is the entire stack. Platform start with the intelligent infrastructure and go up to the level of the application, to the end user application. And as I said, an important element of the platform is the insight. Why? Because we have tons of data. But what makes the difference if, is if we are able to use this data in order to offer a simple, seamless, cognitive, personalized experience for our customers. And finally, my preferred one, as I told you, is the planet. 
we really need to have a right use of our resources. We need to look how we can, not only as a company, really help and improve the impact on the environment, but even how we can help our customer in achieving their target. And if I think about these three P, and if I apply that in the context of the Saudi 2030 vision, I really see an important fit between the two. If you look about that in the people, you really are looking to create the next generation of talent. You are very much into the skills. You are very much into the dynamic experience. And when it comes to the planet, you are really investing a lot. And I can mention in projects like Red Sea, where we are involved, or Neom as well, but even the King Salman Park, you are doing so much in order not only to preserve, but even to help the planet for the future. And all of that will be amplified and accelerated if we have the right platform in place. Now, with that, I hope that I have convinced the 17% of you that were thinking to, to just survive, because it is not any more time to survive. It is time to thrive. And for us to do that, we need to do fundamentally two things. First, have the right use of the digital transformation, the, the technology, and translate, embrace the complexity, and translate that into the simple, simple, seamless experience for our end user. And second, we need to keep transforming. And in doing that, we need to bear in mind that it is not only about technology, it is about technology, platform, people, and our planet. I wish you all the best in the continued success for, our, for the execution of the Vision 2030. And with that, thank you very much for being with me today.